Hi everyone, welcome to another basic grey video. Today I'm back to share another card creation with you and I'm basing a card upon the sketch that you see here. I'm going to be using some really fun pattern paper from one of the new collections that will be released really soon and it's called Serenade. So I'm just using some of the pattern paper out of this 12 by 12 collection. So to start out, I've trimmed down a white card to measure four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to be using some of the flowers that you see in this pack here. And this is the die cut canvas and paper pattern paper flowers. They're really super fun and some great textures to them as well. So to start out, I'm just going to add this pattern paper to the center of our card. And I've just trimmed it down to measure five and a half by three inches. And I've die cut a circle measuring approximately about three inches across. I've also trimmed down another piece of pattern paper that I'll be using as a banner. And I kind of wanted to use the other side of the pattern paper because it was really, really pretty. But I found that it's actually blending in way too much. So we'll just adhere our main piece of pattern paper. And I'm just going to use my mat here as um, a guide. So it will help me line the pattern paper across the card straight. And as you can see, I have a little bit of overhang. So I'm just going to adhere that down and trim that off with a pair of scissors. Okay, so next I'm going to trim a V into our banner. And you'll see that I'm actually changing the sketch up a little bit. And this is just so I'm using the sketch as inspiration. I'm not going to copy it completely because I want to be able to adapt it to the style that I'm used to. So I'll just adhere this banner to the centre of that piece of pattern paper. Once again, I'm just using my mat as a, a guide. And I'm just going to take the circle and I'm going to add some foam dimensionals to give it a bit of height. So I've finished with the card pretty much at the moment. So I'm going to move on to the flower. And I'm just going to adhere each of these layers with foam dimensionals just to give the flower a little bit of height and a little bit of dimension. And as I said, these are really great flowers. They're really fun and funky and you can have a lot of fun with them. Just um, have a play around with them. You can use the different colours and textures that are actually within that pack. So to the centre of that flower, I'm going to add a button. And I just want to add some string through the button and tie a bit of a bow just to finish off that flower. So, and the way I tie my bow is I thread the string through and then I'm just going to take some score tape and place that on the back so it adheres the string to the button so it won't move while I tie, tie my bow. Okay, so the flower's finished and I've just added some foam dimensionals to the back of that flower and adding it to the centre of the circle. Next I trim down some white cardstock, which I'm going to use as an, another banner. And stamping um, a sentiment with some VersaFine ink. And this is one of the new sentiments that are from the Serenade collection that is in conjunction with Hero Arts and Basic Grey Stamps. So I'll just stamp that onto that cardstock. And I'm just going to cut a V into this as well to match the other um, banner. And I'm just adding some foam dimensionals. Now I'm making sure to double up with the foam dimensionals here so that all the heights across the card are the one height. So I'm just adjusting everything here to make sure it's in the correct position. And I'm just finding that I really need to finish the card off just a little bit. So I'm just taking some more strips of pattern paper from that collection. And I'm just going to put them top and bottom of the big main section of that pattern paper. This just um, gives it a nice edge and a different look to the card as well. It just really completes the card. So I hope you have fun with the sketch and I hope you will play along and we get to check out all your, 
your cards and your inspiration that you find from the sketch as well. I'm just trimming off the excess here. And that completes our card. So for more information, please visit Basic Grey. Here's another look at the card. And thanks for watching.